Back now at the Mission Director Center here at Vandenberg Air Force Base, we're joined by Jim Hall. Jim is the Mission Manager for the Launch Services Program for the IRIS spacecraft and has been following it uh, throughout its uh, preparations to fly today on the Pegasus XL and has worked a lot of the activities associated with the integration of the uh, spacecraft with the Pegasus. So, Jim, welcome, and um, would like, first of all, perhaps to ask you when did the Launch Services Program actually start becoming involved with IRIS? When was that on our radar screen? Well, George, it was really early on. I was back in June of 2009 when the Small Explorers Program awarded IRIS. Uh, our team was uh, immediately, a mission manager was assigned, myself and a small core team. Um, that next July of 2009, uh, we attended a kickoff meeting and uh, we started to understand some of the spacecraft requirements. So uh, that activity continued on and we worked with them to understand the requirements for a period of about six months or so. And then we got into our launch services task order process, which is where we go off and award uh, missions off of the NLS contract on the small class. Okay, so we, is, we went into that. Means, uh, NLS is what? Now? NLS, NASA Launch Services Contract. So we went off and uh, on, did that competition. And on June of 2010, one year, one year later, we awarded IRIS. Um, uh, the, the Orbital Sciences team won the award of that LSTO. And uh, then we got our bigger team together. And from that point forward, we've been all working very closely with the IRIS team, and, and we've gotten to this point. Well, looking at that today, about how many personnel all together are directly involved in our countdown and launch operations today, and, and what segments are they? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there's, we've got uh, uh, over 120 or so NASA and contractor per, per personnel supporting today, and they're uh, all highly trained and uh, have been working, for, working hard toward the moment that we're at right now as I look at the L-1011 flying in the air right now. Uh, so there's and a lot of uh, I think that also includes our, our Air Force counterparts, which we've been That's working very closely with since we got here. They sure have. They've been working very closely, and they've overcome some problems while we've been here. So it's been a really good team effort, and we've had some small challenges, but nothing that we couldn't overcome, and we've gotten to this point. Well, we've got some really uh, explanatory video of what all has happened with the Pegasus and then mm -hmm with Iris in preparation for the launch today. So we'll roll the video and Jim, you could tell us what we're seeing. Fantastic. Here is the Iris spacecraft being processed in the Lockheed Martin Sunnyvale plant up in California. Uh, this is a solar array deployment test that they ran there. As you can see, the Iris is a small spacecraft and the solar arrays are only about 12 foot across. And the weight of the Iris spacecraft is about 400 pounds. We took it in the truck and then we trucked it on down to the Vandenberg Air Force Base and we arrived here at building 1555. That's where the Pegasus was processing in parallel while Iris was coming on down. This is a view of the Pegasus first stage as we're uh, panning across. Looking on the top section here, uh, Pegasus from the top is the wing of the Pegasus and towards the back we've got the fins and the and the, the threat, the nozzle. Here's our team, uh, some of the folks. We spent a lot of time testing and getting the Pegasus ready for, for uh, the launch. And there's a lot of that testing and a lot of integration. As you can see, some of the test setup hardware there and the team members getting ready. We ran repeated tests to make sure everything was working right. Uh, here's a great shot of the three-stage Pegasus rocket, uh, all three stages there. And uh, there's the business end of the, of the Pegasus. And you can see also the, uh, the tail, the fins, which on the first stage, they direct the attitude control. In this shot, we're mating the first and second stages. And there's the orbital technicians as they're mating those two stages together. Um, this will be the 42nd uh, launch of the Pegasus system. 
and we've had a lot of success with this. It's been a great uh, rocket for us. This is a nice shot of the, um, the enclosure, the clean enclosure that we have. When the spacecraft arrives, we mate that uh, in that clean enclosure. Uh, speaking of the spacecraft, there it is. And uh, it just arrived, uh, and that was back on April 19th. We're forklifting it out of the, out of the transportation uh, truck there. And look, and you notice it's got lumaloy around it. You know, we've got a contamination-sensitive payload here. So we've got to make sure that it's covered up. And uh, this is the uh, um, shipping fixture. The team's kind of cleaning up around there. And they're going to prepare to lift the Iris spacecraft off of that fixture. That's what they're putting the bracketry on there. And they're going to put it onto our ground handling fixture. And we call it the Birdmobile. And uh, they're getting ready to do that. And as soon as they get that on there, they're going to start looking. They started looking at, uh, hey, did we have any post-shipment uh, problems with it? So they did a complete checkout of it. And there's some of the Lockheed Martin team right there uh, just making sure their baby made it safely. So um, that was well done. And as you can see here, the Birdmobile going into the clean tent. Um, and we're shoring it all up there. And then our, our spacecraft team were able to unwrap their present. And uh, there she is, Iris. And you can see the Pegasus third stage in the background there. Um, the team's next job is to uh, mate the uh, Iris spacecraft with the Pegasus launch vehicle. And you can see the Birdmobile being positioned there. And then we tweak it right and left over right. There's little tines you can see there. We have an isolation system that we have a shock isolation system for this mission so that we don't get any excessive vibration and shock on the payload. Moving immediately into encapsulation, uh, you notice the starboard fairing door is already uh, closed and we're working on getting the port one closed there and there's the team putting the finishing touches on that. And at this point in time, we looks like a rocket. Uh, and there she is. And we hoisted her over onto that assembly integration trailer that you see there. And that's for preparations to roll out to the hot pad so we can uh, mate up with the L-1011 orbital carrier aircraft. Um, early morning, we want to avoid the winds in this operation, so we're driving along. This is a couple quick notes. The, uh, the Pegasus weighs about 51,000 pounds, and it's about 55 foot long. Rolling it under the Stargazer, this is one of the only L-1011s that's flying in the United States right now. And we're getting ready to mate the Pegasus up there. He's securing four hooks up there over the wing. Interesting, I, the, we are jacked up two foot. We had to jack the L-1011 up two foot. See this jack and the little uh, uh, white yellow right there? Rolled that baby under there, installed it, AIT rolling back out, and hey, baby, we're ready to fly. Well, Jim, um, we 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 noticed in, in in the video that we saw that there's a name penciled on the fairing. Um, who is it, and what's the significance of it? That is George Hale. Um, you know, we we talked with the the principal investigator. Iris is a sun sensing experiment. We're doing a lot. We're going to learn a lot about the sun, and uh, the team wanted to recognize George Hale lived back and he's a, in the late 1800s and early 1900s. He was an American solar astronomer and he was a graduate of MIT that was responsible for many solar discoveries. So he also, well, interestingly, hired and encouraged Edwin Hubble, you know, at the Mount Wilson Observatory. So um, he's, he did all kinds of work. He did work on, uh, on determining that sunspots have a magnetic signature to them. And uh, he also played a central role in developing the California Institute of Technology into one of the leading research centers, research universities. So, well, Jim, thank you very much for uh, talking to us uh, about what we've done to get to this point today. And the uh, Pegasus and the Iris spacecraft together now flying along on this uh, L-1011 being ready for launch. So My pleasure. Thanks, Jim, and best of luck tonight. We're all excited, and go, go Pegasus and go Iris. At launch minus 34 minutes, 3 seconds and counting, this is Pegasus Launch Control.